Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is Dee and I hope you're doing well. Welcome and a welcome back to my channel. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support as it is greatly appreciated. And if you're browsing YouTube and you've come across my channel, it's not by coincidence, but a divine connection. So go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. Also, this is a general reading, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. God most high, angel spirit, guys, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit. What is divine guidance and encouragement for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising? That's for their well-being and the highest form of love and light. Okay, Capricorn, you have agate. Agate. Get back into balance. So in whatever area of your life you feel things are just a little off, you're being encouraged to get back in balance. Perhaps you're overextending yourself in some way shape or form and so you're just being really encouraged to just assess that and see what is required at this time to just get back into balance all right fluorite find peace within so no one can create peace for you you have to do it for yourself because you are in control of yourself you have the capability of allowing the energy around you to be what you want it to be because you have the ability to change anything that is not in alignment with your greatest and highest good so you're being encouraged to find the peace within because it starts within if you can be at peace within it will reflect without so Find peace within. Perhaps you want to consider engaging in some form of a prayer or meditation time just to help you clear your mind, align your thoughts, and um, bring some balance into your emotions if you're feeling like there is um, something that's currently in your situation that you're facing that's causing you to be frustrated, stressed, angry, upset, um, confused, distort whatever is not making you feel healthy at this time look at how you can bring peace from within right into your situation because regardless of what's happening right because nothing's perfect you can always bring the peace that you need into your situation it's up to you regardless of what's happening you have the ability to control yourself and create the peace that you need. Okay, so you have a fresh start here. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that crystal name, but you can certainly do some research on it for yourself. But you have fresh start. And I feel that once you create this peace in your life, you invoke the peace, you're going to have a sense of a new fresh start it's going to help you feel better and also help you look at your situation from a different perspective and help you to gain a, a different mindset about what needs to happen at this time and also it will also give you a, a fresh view of how you can just go with the flow of things as they unfold in your current situation so look at your current situation and as you allow peace to come within from within outward it's going to help you with this fresh new start you also have idolite shift your money mindset so if you're mindset about money is negative in any way right like if you have any doubt or feel like you're not in alignment with prosperity financial prosperity that is because prosperity is not all about finances but if your mindset is that you know you don't have enough money or you're always broke or money never comes to you etc etc if you are thinking like that and you're speaking like that you're being encouraged to shift that speak positivity 
into your life, into how you need to view money, your money mindset. Like you should be saying things such as you have a good relationship with money. Money flows to you with ease, with no harm to yourself and others. You have more than enough money. You are a lender, not a borrower, etc., etc. So change your mindset. And maybe you grew up with adults telling you money don't go on trees or don't ask for this because you're not going to be able to get it or I don't have enough for this etc etc trust me there's more than enough abundance available for everyone you just have to change your mindset and also i would all i would also excuse me encourage you that on jupiter thursday that you do some sort of action to align yourself with financial prosperity jupiter is the planet that is associated with um, financial abundance with expansion, higher learning, and more. So perhaps you want to look at how you can expand your knowledge on how to create and establish and bring in more financial abundance, or you want to play the lottery, just try it. Um, of course, if you're of age, or if you want to look at ways that you can bring financial abundance in by using your creative abilities, et cetera, et cetera. So those are some things that are coming to me at this time that you may want to consider, but it's very important that you shift your money mindset at this time. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get your final card, Capricorn. And if this is resonating with you, go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here because there's more to come. All right, so let's get your final card, Capricorn. Okay, so this is the image of your final card, which is absolutely gorgeous. Do you not agree? It is gorgeous. So beautiful the energy is just so beautiful it's um it makes me feel excited it makes me feel happy how does it make you feel let me know down in the comment section this image how does it make you feel and it's like a array of like a ray of abundance or a ray of love and a array of grace is just beaming down that's what i'm getting it's just gorgeous so let's get to your message so your message is that you are dearly loved is an eternal truth for in the grand cosmic scheme of things only love is real and only love will remain forever within our hearts Love does not judge, Capricorn doesn't judge you. It just, it is, it just unconditionally loves you. Pardon me. It is the true wisdom of consciousness. Seek shelter in love, right? And you shall hear the song of spirit and be guided by its sacred sound. So again, the message is that you are dearly loved is an eternal truth. It's a truth without a doubt that you are eternally love. You have to know that. This is a fact. For in the grand cosmic scheme of things, only love is real and only love will remain. And we know that God most high or however you see the higher power is love. Just love. All about love. So love is real and only love will remain forever within our hearts. Love does not judge you. It just unconditionally loves you. Facts. It is the true wisdom of consciousness. Seek shelter in love. Start with self-love. When was the last time you told yourself how much you love yourself? 
When's the last time you gave yourself a hug? Because self-love is one of the most powerful ways that you can embrace love. So love on yourself. Do something for yourself to express love to yourself. Because it says, seek shelter in love. And again, it begins with you. Of course, you are the apple of God most high's eye, or however you see the higher power, you're the apple of God most high's eye. And so seek shelter in love, and you shall hear the song of spirit and be guided by its sacred sound. All right. So Capricorn, this is your message. I hope it has been helpful. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section. Um, it would be greatly appreciated and it also helps my channel to grow. So thanks again. Take good care of yourself. I will talk to you soon. Don't forget Jupiter Thursday. See you soon. Bye.